Hello, my name is Ruben, I'm a GIS specialist and in today's video I'm going to show you something super interesting. Often, in GIS, we need to perform analysis with hydrographic elements and sometimes it can be a little bit difficult to find river shapefiles. To get around this problem, based on a simple DEM, we will extract rivers and export them to a shapefile format. The first step to this video is downloading uh, contour lines, so we will go to this website, opendm.info, then right here on the left go to downloads, srtm contours as shapefile, you move to your area of interest, I'm going right here close to the Pyrenees in Spain, and then if you press on control you can draw a box and then you click on this link to proceed to, to the download. Now I'm going to extract the data and now we can go back to ArcGIS Pro and import the data we just extract. So I'm going to my folder, let's refresh and add these control lines to my project. Now that we have the data imported to the ArcGIS Pro, let's go to the map, right click on properties and check if you have your coordinate system. I'm going to use this one. And now let's proceed to transform this shapefile into a DM. So the first step is create tin. So we'll go to analysis and search for create tin. Right here, let's create an output for our tin. I'm going to choose my folder. I will call tin, coordinate system, same as current map. Input features will be the, the control lines. Height field will be elevation, as you can see right here on the attribute table. And the type will be soft line. Right here, you can change this one and extent, it will be the control lines. Click on run. Now to transform the tin into a raster, go once more to the geoprocessing uh, search bar and search for tin to raster. Drag and drop the tin right here. Let's choose our output, I will call it raster and now just change the sampling distance to cell size and for the sampling value I will choose 500. The smaller the value of this field the longer the processing time will be and the file size will be larger. Now go into the environments panel, change this to same as current map and for the extent I will select for example our control lines and click run. OK, now that we have our DM, we can remove tin. As you can see, we have a DM with 500 meters of cell size. Now let's go back to the geoprocessing search bar and type fill. Select this one. This will remove the imperfections of our DM. Drag and drop our raster and select your output, I will call it fill, click save. For the environments panel, I will always use the same process, um, control line for the accent and the raster for the mask, and for snap to raster as well, click run. OK, let's uncheck the raster. And now for the next tool, let's search for flow direction. Once again, drag and drop the fill to the input surface raster. Select your output. I will call it FD. Click save. Once again, we will do the same process for the environments. Click 
click run there we go now search for flow accumulation now drag and drop your flow direction raster select your output once again and you do the same process for the environments as well raster right here and right here and click on run we can already see the outline of some rivers as you can see now we just need to do a final step search for con drag and drop your flow accumulation to the input conditional raster and for the expression you need to say where value is greater than and then you choose a value the value choose in this field depends a lot on the objective of your work if you want to represent a large density of watercourses enter a lower value but if your objective is to represent only the most important watercourses you need to select a higher value. What I usually do is test some values until I find the best result. So let's proceed. I will choose for this example uh, 250 and right here I will choose the flow accumulation raster. Select your environments once more and click on run. Okay, we are almost almost done. Let's uncheck all these rasters. Okay, as you can see, we can already see uh, the water courses of our DEM. Before we transform this into a shape, let's reclassify. Drag and drop the con right here. Let's classify in one class, for example. It didn't work, of course. We can just change this value to the number one. Let's save to our folder once again. I'll call it rec. Change the environments once again. And then we can click on run. And to finish, just search for stream to feature. Right here, drag and drop your classification and for the flow direction raster you drag and drop your flow direction let's select our output we'll call it stream once again change your environments and click run and it's finished let's uncheck all the values and check our raster let's change the symbology for this one and increase the size and the color of our streamline for this blue and as you can see we now have the reverse on a shape file let's add this base map for example to see if these rivers actually exist this deviation seen in the image is related to the fact that the contour lines used to create the dm have an equidistance of 25 meters which will not be ideal for a more detailed analysis but as you can see this process works and can be very useful in different situations 
Thank you for watching. If you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment what you want to learn next.